Welcome to Tesla Life. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the video with your friends. And I would appreciate it if you'd press that little like button. So this is the new um, configuration page. Notice all of the new uh, choices here on the right hand side. So previously there was only three models to choose from. We have the standard range, which gives us 220 mile range, uh, 130 mile per hour, top speed, 5.6 second. <clears throat> So this is the new uh, $35,000 Model 3 that they've been promising for a long time. And uh, what's a little deceiving about their website are the prices on the right are the prices after savings, which is your federal savings, state savings, and uh, gas savings. So I'm going to list the uh, real price uh, across the top of the screens. Then we go to a partial premium interior. The uh, first one just has standard interior which hopefully they'll have a picture of when we get in deeper. So this is the uh, standard range plus a uh, little bit more mileage, a uh, little higher top speed compared to uh, the standard range uh, and a little faster zero to 60. Then we go to the premium interior, which is what I think we've been all receiving uh, to date. And we have a mid range at 264, same top speed, uh, top uh, speed, and I believe the same zero to 60, uh, just a slightly faster zero to 60, another 0.10 uh, seconds. So previously, the mid range uh, rear wheel drive uh, car was 42.9, so they dropped the price by $2,900. And also notice the top speed went up. Uh, from uh, 125 to 140 and the 0 to 60 went down from 5.6 to 5.2. And then the long range 325 mile range which uh, is uh, higher than uh, the current long range and I think there's a firmware update for the existing uh, cars to get this 325 mile range. Same top speed and a little faster um, five seconds, so we've got 5.2 to five here. Now this model they brought back because this was the original model and the model that I have. It's a single motor, rear motor, long range, long battery. They dropped this model, but they've uh, re-added it and put it at a uh, new price. Then the uh, dual motors, uh, long range, um, that's interesting, only 310. So the uh, uh, rear motor uh, long range actually has a longer range, uh, 310, 145, and 4.5 seconds. The dual motor definitely improves your speed from uh, 5 to 4.5 here. So I don't have a screenshot of the specs for the uh, long range battery on the previous website, but the price was 49900 and so again, they dropped the price by $2,900 for this model. I believe the range was uh, 310. And then the performance model takes you all the way down to 3.2 with a higher top speed, same range. So again, they dropped the price by $2,900 and they've increased the uh, top speed to 162 and dropped the uh, 0 to 60 to 3.2, a uh, tenth of a second. Let's uh, go back to the standard interior, uh, which it looks like I can click on and see the details of. So manual seats uh, and steering adjustments, that's all manual, that's interesting, so that's got to be completely different. Cloth seats and bass trim, basic audio, I guess they're limiting the streaming music to some uh, basic features. Uh, standard maps and navigation. I don't know what that means. I don't know whether that eliminates traffic, perhaps. Center console with storage, that's uh, uh, identical. Uh, the partial premium interior uh, has the 12-way uh, power adjusted seats, which I have and all the previous Model 3s had. Premium seat material and trim, uh, I believe that's what we all have now. Uh, upgraded audio immersive sound. Um, don't know the details of this audio difference between basic audio and upgraded audio. Um, and then premium audio here, uh, 12 speaker subwoofer. This is what I think we all have now, the premium 
audio. So it looks like they're just uh, uh, changing some of the audio, maybe not a subwoofer and fewer speakers. Standard maps and navigation. Um, what is different here with the maps and navigation? Satellite view maps with live traffic visualization and navigation. So it looks like you lose uh, the satellite view and the traffic uh, in the uh, partial premium and standard uh, maps. LED fog lights, uh, we have that now. Center console with storage that they all have. So uh, the uh, premium gets you the same uh, seats, the premium audio with subwith 4 and 12 uh, speakers, uh, the satellite and traffic uh, on the maps, in-car internet streaming music and media. This must be the major uh, difference that they're dropping uh, the streaming uh, from uh, the partial and the interior or the standard. Uh, locational where automatic garage door opener that's actually a very nice feature i love that feature use it all and then i guess they disable the internet browser from these other options too uh, and things like that and things like this and this could actually be added later so you probably could update that and also the streaming uh, could be added later and the map so i wonder if there's going to be an upgrade path uh, on those that's pretty interesting so let's go next here and uh, I think this is probably similar. Uh, we'll look at my old video, but uh, you get black and the arrow wheels for the base price. Then they have a silver metallic for an extra $1,500, blue for $15, white for $2,000, and red for $2,500. Uh, I got the red. I don't think I paid $2,500 extra for uh, red at the time. And then the arrow wheels add another 1500. So let's keep it uh, in the base model just so everybody sees what they get. And then uh, we have the selected interior, which is standard. So it's sort of showing you what the interior looks like. You can see the cloth seats here um, and maybe cloth in here. Uh, the grill here looks slightly different, uh, but it doesn't look too bad actually uh, probably cloth here um, really doesn't look too bad uh, I mean the the console is the same of course in your rear mirror and steering wheel controls on the uh, steering wheel everything else seems to be right same storage same things like that so really not too bad so this is the uh, partial premium interior options uh, you get the wood grain here which looks nice and then you can also select white, which is really impressive looking. Um, I didn't have that option available. I would have probably got it because I think it looks pretty sharp. The extra thousand for that. Uh, and we can compare this back to the uh, standard range interior, which is uh, cloth, no wood grain. Um, and you can see the cloth here on the seats and then if we jump back to the partial premium, let's see what the seats look like. Yeah, it's a uh, leather type seat, premium seat material and trim. Uh, this looks very similar to my current model uh, three. Um, and when we go to the uh, premium interior, we'll just pick this one. Let's see what the options are, black and white and um, looks like the interior is the same. It's just that you get some nice new features. You get some features that we all have now, um, which uh, includes the satellite maps and traffic here, uh, the premium audio, um, and in-car and uh, internet, uh, internet browser. Really don't use that, that too much, so it's not too big a deal. This is very convenient. I just find it convenient. It opens the garage door. You don't have to press the button. Um, so those are the big uh, additions over the um, other two options. But the uh, material and stuff looks the same for the top two. Okay, autopilot. Now, this is interesting because it looks like they've separated here 
features that we all have in enhanced autopilot and they're classifying them or separating them so the autopilot looks like it's uh, just the old autopilot which would stay in your lane um, on highways and they've moved the navigate to on autopilot which is the on-ramp off-ramp and suggesting lane changes um, uh, to full self-driving capable features that are listed uh, under here I believe so that's really interesting that they've separated those auto park also it looks like it's separated and um, summon which uh, pretty interestingly here uh, they've extended summon that uh, your car your parked car will come find you anywhere in a parking lot really <laughs> that's pretty cool coming later this year is recognizing and responding to traffic lights and stop signs uh, I was just about to release a video on this I thought that uh, the cruise control feature on local roads could slow down for uh, stop signs and red lights if there's no car in front of you uh, and then allow you to take over after slowing down so I wonder if that's what this means automatic driving on city streets uh, it sort of does do uh, autopilot now on city streets, maybe just improved autopilot capabilities on city streets. Not sure what they mean by this right here. And it it seems like they've separated some of the feature we, features we used to get in autopilot to full self-driving capability. Um, the way this is outlined... Uh, and they've changed it from full self-driving to full self-driving capability. Um, so I don't exactly know. Active driver supervision, that's just a warning about uh, that. So, and I assume, yeah, you take that off, you lose um, the, uh, you have to select uh, autopilot before you can, uh, select this full self-driving capability um, okay uh, and uh, that's about it now uh, it looks like um, you can adjust here your gas savings I did this before um, so if you think you drive more than 10,000 let's say 15,000 miles per uh, year uh, you can plug in your average uh, price per gallon uh, and really increase your savings. The incentives is based upon what state you're in. And uh, I'm in Pennsylvania, but uh, I showed in my previous video, if you happen to be in Colorado, uh, you get a $5,000 savings here. Uh, and then uh, looks like they have different delivery dates and times, almost all two weeks. Although the standard rear wheel uh, low end model uh, might be up towards uh, four, uh, four weeks. So if you put in, if you purchase from Colorado and go 15,000 miles a year, your actual after savings here can get uh, really low. Uh, again, here we now have the base price at 35, which is uh, a big, big. Um, leap forward. That's all because in section one we just chose the standard range. Now this uh, range uh, is probably a pretty good alternative uh, or even uh, this one. Uh, my original Model S had 220 miles uh, range. I had the Model S 60 uh, and it was uh, more than fine for my commute. My commute 60 miles, 30 miles each way, uh, and I could go down the shore, which was 100 miles down the shore. I charge it there. I really didn't have too much trouble with 220 mile range. I feel a lot better now that I have um, this model uh, here, which uh, is three was 300. It looks like they have some. I've read there's some kind of firmware update that they're going to go to 325. So. Um, let me stop here and uh, compare uh, to, uh, well, I think I'll compare throughout the things. So thanks, everyone. Thought I'd show you the new pricing. Bye-bye.
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, all I ask is that you please subscribe on the top left and share this video with your friends. If you want to see some of my other Tesla Model 3 videos, they're here in the center. I just created a new channel, Pickleball Life. It's a great game, so check it out and you can subscribe on the bottom left. My Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram accounts are listed on the bottom right. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.